A nice weekend to get outside, maybe celebrate Easter, but this week, uh, change of direction. Yeah, here we go again with uh, kind of reloading this same weather pattern, Kim. Uh, I mean, we had uh, 12 inches of rain uh, for the month of March, and we have more on the way. The, the, the storm is actually centered as far as the heaviest rain and wind is centered on, on Wednesday. But starting tomorrow afternoon, the first raindrops working in. We have breaks in the overcast. It's actually a nice late afternoon and early evening. It's quiet. It's dry. In fact, we will stay dry this evening tonight right on through the morning commute. We'll bring in some rain uh, tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening, but the heaviest rain and the strongest wind. Wind will be a factor, too. It's from midweek on Wednesday uh, with an intensifying uh, coastal storm. Temperatures now still in the low to mid 50s at 52 in Coventry, Smithfield 54, New Bedford 52. Taunton not bad in the mid 50s and upper 40s to around 50 along the south shore. So dry skies for tonight. A wet week ahead with more rain, though the heaviest centered on Wednesday, perhaps into early on Thursday morning. Well, I do have precipitation in the forecast for Thursday, seeing some signs now that it may be much lighter than what's on tap for Wednesday. And temperatures uh, starting uh, Wednesday are going to trend uh, colder than average Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and on into Saturday. High elevations, the Berkshires up in Massachusetts, the, the Worcester Hills, northern New England. We'll see some accumulating snow out of this. I mean, the average high during the afternoon is around 53. We're close to that tomorrow afternoon, but notice a significant cool down chilly Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and that includes Saturday as well, and then a trend towards milder weather by Saturday. Sunday and on into Monday. So we're dry right now. Here's the wider view tracking moisture, which stretches from the Great Lakes down through the central plains and southern plains and pieces of this moisture headed our way over the next several days. So when we time this out, we're dry tonight. This is 11 o'clock. Take you into tomorrow morning dry with increasing clouds. This strip of rain arriving by tomorrow afternoon. So the morning commute tomorrow looks fine. The evening commute coming home with a shield of rain. Now what happens is a second storm. This red L will be developing off the mid Atlantic coastline on Wednesday and intensifying. This in increases both rain and wind for Wednesday. Here we are Thursday morning snow in northern New England and the Berkshires of Massachusetts. Precipitation continues on Thursday in the form of chilly rain showers. Right now it may be lighter than what's on tap for Wednesday. Snow again, this is mainly high elevations, the Berkshires, the Adirondacks, the Green Mountains, the White Mountains here in southern New England. I mean, there may be a wet snowflake mixed in on Thursday, but it's primarily um, all rain. Here's the forecast. We're going to jump ahead to tomorrow morning at around 8 a.m. It is dry, so a decent start to the day. You see that shield of green indicating the rain arriving by mid to late afternoon tomorrow. This is the evening commute tomorrow. And then wet weather continues tomorrow evening and into tomorrow night. So a dry start on Tuesday with increasing clouds by 11 a.m. 46. Upper 40s to briefly near 50 tomorrow afternoon. Keep the umbrella nearby. Uh, the second half of the day as that rain starts to work in. And then really ramping up heavy rain and wind to the point where we're going to have to watch, unfortunately, rivers and streams once again. This will spill over into Thursday. Now, both Friday and Saturday are not storm days, but rather just kind of a nuisance passing rain or snow shower both of those days with Sunday being the pick day. Now you don't see eclipse Monday on there, but right now the long range forecast for Monday of temperatures near 60 with sunshine. That's seven days. I, I want to get excited, but there should be more. <laughs> no. Now that's seven days out, but right now the early call for next Monday for solar eclipse day is for clear skies. So stay tuned. All right. Sounds good. Yep. Thanks, Tony. More coverage you can count on coming up on 12 News at 530.